Yeah, taking the wheels. I'm on the winning streak. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Uh. They think that they want it. Shit's wet. Get my neck. This guy is a woman reader. It's not the first time, not the last time. He's put his hands on me. Look how swollen my hand is. I literally have teeth marks that went in through my hand. I'm fucking bleeding. That just gave this nigga that get out of jail free card by telling on these niggas is the same feds that gave that gave this nigga this goddamn money. All right, welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I'm Al Conseco, fearless leader of Al Nation and the Men Too movement. And this is not a Men Too case. Uh, we don't condone beating, trying to beat the hole out of holes, or trying to beat housewife into a hole, like you can't do it, um, and this is, are you fucking serious, as in DJ Drama, are you fucking serious, um, if y'all remember in the beginning, uh, we didn't know what DJ Drama looked like, all we knew is, you know, at that time, it was you holiday season. You would it seemed like you heard him say that, like you heard you heard him scream that shit too. Cause I I guess they sound alike, but it was like the dedication and the, the gangster grills. That's all the fuck we needed. Like nigga, that's drama, and it's like. But looking at him when we finally saw him. We, by the time we saw him, he had so much motherfucking street credibility. It's like, nah, we know that's a nigga. But making moves like these, it kind of make it, even though niggas are, you know, but this type of shit, this right here is a real, like this ain't what, this ain't, no, nah, no, nah, this, this, this is a white boy move. It's a white boy move. So here it is. The situation goes like this. As y'all saw the, the video in the beginning, but it was supposed to be DJ Drama takes this bimbo bitch on a vacation. He feels that this bimbo bitch deserves a fucking vacation. There's not a question at all whether or not she does any work. She lives off the men that she can trap. Um, being the fact that she's 75% silicone, that probably has a lot to do with why she can't conceive a child. Um, she she damn near is a condom. Like you don't have to bring a rubber. She is rubber. Um, but when you when you see this bitch automatically I'm gonna wear a condom like I know like because when you see her you think sex it you shouldn't think that when you see a bitch I gotta wear a condom the fuck we need even, you haven't even spoke to her yet but it's like you know it, it's sex why the fuck would you date a bitch that looks like that and, and is unpolit unapologetically a prostitute we got good news and we got bad news hold on hold on but all my, all my habitual donators that always hear their name during the um, AO Nation donation conversation, 
that we do every third Sunday, I salute you before we do anything. Um, to take your hard earned and to put it in something that you fuck with, it motivates me beyond words, period. Love. The good news is this. I'm gonna continue to do the How to Identify Nothing As Bit series. Of course, you know it's um, an AO Nation exclusive series. So you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron um, in order to watch it. And once you become a patron, you'll be able to see all of the other unreleased episodes that I couldn't put on YouTube. Every Monday we go live on the Big Face Podcast channel at 7.30. A lot of y'all be late than a motherfucker, but we go live every Monday at 7.30. Um, if you're a lieutenant, you'll be given the privilege to call in and state your opinion at any point in time during the broadcast. Um, at 6.45, you'll be given a call-in number on your Patreon account, and we just go from there. For all my when new people, if you want the uh, Are You Serious t-shirt, it's $15. The Big Face Podcast t-shirt is $15. The Men 2 t-shirt is $20. And the Big Face Podcast Scullies are $10. Uh, go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Address, size, color, and what shirt you want. It's time for the bad news. The bad news is... No one watches sponsored videos. So if you're a rapper and you're thinking that I'm going to get an IG sponsorship or I'm going to get a Facebook sponsorship, nobody's watching this shit. So the numbers that they're telling you that you have are bullshit. And you know that bullshit because when you post after you did your sponsorship, your shit plummets. Even when you are running the sponsorship, your fucking YouTube numbers are bullshit. They're bullshit. Stop playing with yourself. Here, on this show, where we do not accept trash music, we do not accept homosexual music, and we don't accept that mumble rap bullshit. The prices for promotion start at $200. They go up to $2,000, depending on how much exposure you want. They start there, so if you don't have $200, there's no reason to come this way. If your music is not up to par, there's no reason to come this way. I explain the packages as soon as you come in the inbox say, Hey, I got my budget together with the packages. I'm not putting out no fucking price sheet so you can pass that shit to your fucking homosexual homeboy and send him my fucking way. Ain't no fucking price sheet because everybody can't get on this show. I want to see your motherfucking profile. I want to check, see what the fuck I'm fucking with. This show has integrity. That's why we rock the way we rock. But you keep paying that $25, $35 to a fucking sponsorship, which no one sees. They scroll right past it. And you'll be a fucking 50-year-old rapper. And that's just what it is. This shit you gotta be, homie. Unapologetically, a fucking prostitute. You're gonna. So you, you the nigga off Brooklyn Finance. Y'all remember the uh, the white man, the good cop in Brooklyn Finance. He uh, went to go see a prostitute. And I'm sure like every week, probably every day. Real, he was borderline stalkerish. You probably it's a lot of niggas like that too, um, because you don't get that many bitches, no matter who the bitch is or what relationship you have to the bitch. If she'll let you get close enough to her. Shut it up! If she'll let you get close enough to her. Do you think that this is marriage material? Because this is. You haven't had attention from a woman in so long. And also. Another conversation. Another conversation. But. We don't expect this from. A hip hop mogul, um, you got this plastic made up bitch, and you're not taking her out because of how much money she's made you, which is the only reason why you haven't started giving this bitch a modeling career uh, or got her into music and shit like that. You are really trying to coop this bitch. You're trying to coop this plastic bitch 
I have to believe that when you guys started fucking around, because right now I'm trying to think of why the fuck would you treat this bitch to a fucking vacation? Like, it, you should have it at a point where, nah, bitch, you just wait on me to get back. I'm going on vacation. I'm not going to bring no sand to the beach. You're going to show this bitch off like, yeah, this is my girl, y'all. Yeah, shit, you know. Yeah, you know, we been holding it down for a little while. I'm probably going to pop the question, man. You know, it's my baby right here, man. Yeah, man. And as as a as an upcoming artist, you know, you look at drama like, oh, man, if I get with drama, man, he can get me into the game. You look at this bitch, and depending on how long she's been around drama, she may have the eye with foresight, meaning she can see an artist that's about to go somewhere and try to jump ship. This is why the fuck the fight started. Uh, DJ Drama stock has been falling, and I'm sure he's introduced her to people that are now higher than him. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. You see Drama, he's with this fucking blow-up doll. And it's like, damn, like... Nigga, we at, we at Turks and Caicos. Like, nigga, you could have... A nigga's bitch... A nigga, like, that's why niggas is embarrassed of their baby mama. Like, that says so much about you. It goes the same way with a woman. So, ladies, understand, if you're dating a junkie, if you're letting a nigga who ain't got shit going on live in your house, that's a reflection of you. It's all a reflection, except women get a pass because... If you if the woman looks a certain way, then that's all that you can pretty much you know you gotta buy this nigga clothes to go to a function a family function. You gotta go get him some pants, some some dress shoes. Tell him to take a bath and get him a shirt and get him go. You treating him like a fucking boy so much that you gotta actually go take him to the barber shop and sit in the chair. Sit down. You next. Don't cry like what the fuck like nigga, but that's that's what that can be. And as a woman, it's like I don't give a fuck with them hoes say I ain't lonely. And I guess a nigga, nothing ass nigga, would say the same thing. I don't give a fuck with these niggas say I ain't broke. I mean I ain't I ain't homeless. I guess that's a, the last step. But you get judged by the person that you're with. So I see you with this fucking bimbo, and it's like my nigga. Are you real talk? You see him with her. The question that pops to your mind is how much? Whether it be how much you want to fuck this hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like you doing, I see you pimping doing your thing. Or how much is she charging you an hour? Cause this is obviously an escort. I know that this is not your girlfriend. Like this can't be like we don't like. Who the fuck are you? Who in the fuck are you that you would actually come out with this fucking? We don't we don't even use this word in the urban community, but it's a bimbo. Like you must like you must be a pet ass nigga. So you bought them titties, you bought that ass, and you bought all them fucking shots and plastic in her face, and you don't want nobody else to get none of it. Because you know you can't, and that's the issue. Shout out to Big C. Me and Big C was talking about uh, the mail order brides and shit like that. Because <laughs> that's what he he um, he suggested. Because I have so many issues uh, with the marriage. He said the issue isn't you know anything. It's Americanized women have that way of thinking. They've been contaminated mentally. Uh, you should get you. He was serious too. Like you should get you a mail order bride. They gonna cook. They gonna clean. They gonna uh, fucking show. It's all good. I'm like, you know, I ain't really on that. But he he really thought like that was the issue. But the issue with that is, 
if you require anything more, if you require anything more than a just fiscal platonic, I'm just talking about shallow fucking relationship. If you require anything, if you want a, a deep connection with this person, because love will come over time. You nigga, anybody you're around for Anybody you're around for a certain period of time, you're going to develop some type of emotion for, whether it be hate or love, even your co-workers. It can be hate or, you know, a whole lot of light, which it can turn into love. So it's not that. I'm talking about the, the, the bond where it's like. I like being around you, not just I'm, I'm just going to be around you. I like, and I, I, you know, with that, I believe that you can learn, learn to like anyone. But like I said, that's if you want that shit where it's actually something, there's sparks there and shit like that, you know, you can't go this route. Fucking with a bitch. Where you've not put money into her psychologically, um, like send her to school, get an education, you know, get it, start a job here and all this. Like, no, no, I'm to my, you actually put money into her body. How is that not a sex toy? That's a sex toy. Like, I'm put, I'm, that's like going to a sex store and buying a fucking blow up doll. This is what I have sex with. I want this, I want the, the dog sex doll. I want, they got them sex dolls now where you can choose everything about them. I saw a, a sex doll, they had a, like, it was, uh, I think Kanye West was protesting that shit. They had a, a Kim Kardashian sex doll. When you're putting silicone, the same thing they put in these fucking, sex dolls you're putting that into a person's body and that's gonna make them be with you how is that not like i think she's from she's spanish or some shit like that it's like how in the fuck and then you go on her uh profile and she barely had like she might got two thousand likes on her shit two thousand views on a video she's like a nobody so that leads me to think that he got her off the street, pumped up with the silicone, and now she's a fucking sex symbol. It made her feel good, and I'm guessing it's making him feel good. But y'all aren't on the same level, but maybe you don't want to be on the same level with her mentally. You just want something that you can bust up in, that can clean itself. And see, y'all be making these fucking Chris Brown. I that that shit, you know that that really. I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. That shit really bothered me when Karuchi told Chris Brown like you screaming my name on songs and shit like that, nigga. Uh, pipe down, nigga. Fall back, like oh fuck, like hold on. Bitch, I fucking made you, ho. Like, uh, who who brought uh, Amber Rose on the scene? Was it Kanye? It was Kanye, I think. Yeah, Kanye. Kim Car Kim Kardashian. You know, like she wasn't no fucking pop nigga. She wasn't this fucking deep into our community until she was brought in by somebody. So when you take a struggling actress, struggling fucking artist, struggling uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying, a singer, and, and, and bring them on the scene like I'm being seen with you, like that's worth a lot of money. Like this is the best promotion that a, a female anything can get. I'm being seen with you. You're my thing. And from this point forward, you're going to be looked at as, as either... Chris Brown's girlfriend, Chris Brown's wife, 
or Chris Brown's ex. That I'm telling you, dog, that shit to so like you really have to look at yourself like that. Like you are a you're just money. It's just money. Like when you when a person can get money just from being seen with you, dog, you wouldn't believe the shit that I hear from fucking rappers um talking about uh also make sure that y'all go to if you have not went and seen the latest installment of the um how to identify nothing ass bitch series it's on patreon now how to identify nothing ass bitch by social media it has everything to do with this situation because when you go on a social media you see nothing but nab um paraphernalia make sure you get over there to the patreon link in the description box but when i'm listening to these artists and they say, oh, yeah, you know, you ever heard of this person? Oh, yeah, you know that person? They connect to this person that know this person uh, that, that, that know Snoop Dogg. Yeah, so I'm pretty much, you know, brothers with Snoop Dogg. Because, you know, my homeboy, his cousin, uh, auntie, used to manage uh, his Snoop Dogg artist that he had back in the 80s. So, yeah, I'm pretty much in there with him. I call him in the time. Like, just name dropping. But that's worth something. Like... I've told y'all, if, if, um, the fuck is the bitch name, Hernandez, Jocelyn Hernandez, if she didn't get paid shit for doing that first season of Love and Hip Hop, look what the fuck she's gained. This is when I, I, I when I say fame is fortune, of course we can argue that, you, there's, there's a, um, a process in the middle but it's not really that hard because you're gonna have fucking agents come at you like fucking insurance uh, uh, lawyers at a fucking car wreck with a fucking briefcase in hand everybody's gonna be talking to you about hey you got a fucking got a settlement right here you know what I'm saying like when you have paparazzi paying attention to who you are at that very fucking moment you have to pay very close attention I would say don't fuck with nobody in the industry unless they paying you there is no fucking industry fucking relationship there is none and I guess that's what DJ Drama's idea was I'm just gonna fuck with a natural uh just fuck with a uh natural <laughs> I'm just gonna fuck with a regular person and then I'm gonna put superstar implants in her that's I, I can't get past that shit and, I, and one of the reasons why I can't get past it is because that's what Dudes who want to be. I've spoken about this and I've spoken about it. When you come out here with all that shit and that just ridiculous. What the fuck is that bitch name? Uh, just. That's what trannies do. The ass just crazy. The, the fucking titty. They put the shit in their face. That's one of the biggest shits. Like, that's why, like, that whole shit Lil' Kim did. is like, that's... If you can tell that there has been some work done as far as plastic surgery and Botox, <laughs> like Katrina said, if you see tattoos, it's a dude. I'm saying, if you see work done to the face... Just assume it's a fucking dude. In 2019, going on 2020, we're gonna have to start. We're gonna have to start. I want to do a video. I really want to do a video. Um, how to like? We're gonna do a spinoff of the How to Identify Nothing As Bitch series and do one episode. How to identify a nothing ass bitch that isn't a female. And I probably have to title it just like that because as soon as I fucking title it the right way, 
I've seen the power. I've seen the fucking power. Um. I believe that. I, I, I think I do want to do that. I want to bring a couple people in. Like three people. And we brainstorm. And we come up with three solid ways. To tell that this is not a woman that you're dealing with. Just for just for dudes who might be having a you know a night or whatever like that, and you want to make sure that you're not being fooled. And we're gonna come up with three ways to identify a guy in the street. How to tell if she's a guy? That's what we're gonna do. But as far like in 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 this motherfucker that drama is is fucking with gives all the signs hyper feminine, hypersexual. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, look! Look! It's all about I want to fuck. And they're gonna be in places where your um your cognitive dissonance, uh, your discretion, your intellect is at a lower level. They want to get you in your lower self, so you'll catch them downtown. But it, it it's not gonna be early, you know. Not not like at eleven, but like at you know one o'clock in the morning when you know they might come in the back way and they only going to well lit. I mean poorly lit places. You know what I'm saying? Where it can you know? Oh yeah, who the fuck are these hotties? And I, like I said, I don't. I'm. I think I'm gonna have to get. For this situation, I probably need somebody from Atlanta. I probably need somebody from D.C. Uh, for this situation right here. Um, because, and I, I don't know when I'm going to put it at. Because this is going to be a real serious situation. Uh, because for some reason, the T's don't want people to be aware I did a video on the Malik Yoba uh, Breakfast Club interview, whatever, and um, I haven't put it out yet. I'm gonna put it out, but they said that don't fucking, don't fucking not look at us like don't, you can't fucking pretend like we're not there. Like hold the fuck on, like if I don't want to give a fuck about what the fuck you do, I'm wrong for that. It's a whole bunch of rules, and I just don't fuck with it. I just don't fuck with it. But as far like I'm saying all this because this motherfucker that he's uh what a, a beat D D Bakey whatever the fuck D what the fuck was her name D Bakey D let me see D Bakey D Bakey whatever the fuck that is but. As far as her call, her calling him a woman beater, um, I think um, the whole thing is this right here, which you need to understand. Uh, if you're not paying shit, um, you said it's not the first. You said it's not the first time. Um, that lets it be known that. Um, You don't mind it. You don't mind it. And it's not because of love. It's because... Because if it was because of love, you wouldn't have had some shit in your phone that you wouldn't have wanted him... Like, let's be honest. Let's be free or not. Let's get into relationship shit. If there... If you were in love with him, then there wouldn't be shit in your phone that you couldn't let him see. This whole situation started because you had... He told you to let, let him see the phone and you said No. There was something that you were hiding. And in that way, in that way, it, it goes both ways. When you stand with a hoe, you ain't paying no bills, she going to go insane. Well, she going insane either way. And a nigga going insane either way if they, you know, feel like that. But, bitch, I'm paying. I'm The only reason this phone is on, which I, I don't understand why, um... Why you just couldn't get the, 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 the call logs. But maybe that's the only thing 
she don't let him pay. She got her own phone line so she can do it. And that's a telltale sign that she's trying to keep her options open. Drama, I believe in this situation, when you're dealing with a hoe like this, it's obvious that it's like you're trying to coop her. You're trying to make sure that she can't go nowhere else. So you coming as you are, even if she does find someone else attractive or she sees someone else that may be a bigger come up, she can't go to them because she's she's just tied down to you. Um, I think that's, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I've never liked that dynamic. Um, just like I've never liked a nigga to have to, like nigga, if you claiming that you got a whole bunch of hoes, don't tell every one of these bitches that you single. Nigga, if you got a whole bunch of hoes like that, tell every one of these bitches, yeah, I got a wife at home and it, it is, I got an old lady. Immediately. Like, just, you know, if you got it, why the fuck you got to lie to a bitch? Like, if you really got it like that, you shouldn't have to, man, nigga, this is what the fuck it is. What's happening? You good? All good. I got plenty of hoes. But lying to a hoe. So, when you, when you got to, you know, go and get the, you know, that's my whole issue with with a nigga thinking that ah oh, man I ain't dealing with the black women man they too uh they too judgmental I'm gonna go give me a white girl then you end up like Michael Strahan and that video is coming out soon also but in this situation because you know you've known that she's a prostitute you know that she's fucking for money. You know she's fucking for money because she won't fuck with anybody that won't support her. She's not going to work a job. She got a... It was either you or an old man who paid for her titties, ass, and Botox. And if you paid for it, you should be embarrassed because it's between... Either way it goes to somebody who couldn't just fuck with her. Even though that, that some bitches out here, you just they just they don't give a fuck what a motherfucker look like. They don't give a fuck about nothing else. It's just about if you can pay me, I'm your prostitute, and you have to respect that. I'm all it is is if you're a prostitute. When I call you a prostitute, don't get offended. You can't get offended. You fuck for money. You have sex for money. He buys this. You fuck for a month. You're like in a weird way. You're like his child. He pays for everything. Like you get an allowance and you, you throw a tantrum when he doesn't buy it. Like that's, I just, I can't, I, me, I'm just, you know, I'm just a broke nigga. I just, I, I just, that ain't my shit. That's that, that's why the whole, but you can see the type of niggas who would go for that shit. You can see them regardless of niggas. I got big money, nigga. I don't, it ain't tricking. You got it, nigga. It ain't about no tricking. It's about do you see anything else? Like, why in the fuck ain't you getting her an education? You want her to stay down. You want her to stay dependent on you. You don't want her to become independent to where she doesn't need you financially because you provide nothing in any other category but financial. She's not with you because you fuck good, because you're smart, because you're talented, which is fucked up for you. She probably doesn't even like the music genre that you're in. She's with you because you have the money and you will pay for everything that she wants. And that's the thing that I can't be a part of. If I feel like a person doesn't like the way that I doesn't like the way that I talk doesn't like anything about me like that bothers them I'm starting to question my mind why in the fuck are you around me why in the fuck are you around me I know that you don't like this but you're still around no no I'm good I'm good and I'll do that and I have to watch myself because I'll do that at the wrong time that I'm just I'm just trained at this point to do that to everyone involuntarily uh, subconsciously I'll just start testing people without even knowing why but it's like a defense mechanism 
from shit that I've either been through, experienced, or shit that I've seen. The last thing you want is someone in your house that is not on your team. I can't have you behind this lock if you're not on my team. If you have an ulterior motive, I have to get you the fuck away from me. And it doesn't stop. It, it is just not just, oh, uh, we've been, we were cool back in the day. Uh, no, 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 no. You get tested weekly, monthly. You show any sign of leeching. You getting the fuck out of this motherfucker. And that's me. That's me. But I guess when you're in the industry, and you know, you just want to feel like a you know a big man, <laughs> and then you hate the fact that when you ask to see a phone. She confirms all of your suspicions by not letting you see it. And that's showing you the truth. She just showed you a fucking mirror and now it just infuriates you. Because she's bringing you back to real life. You don't ask to see the phone, you can stay living in your fucking daydream. But you got too deep into the delusion to where you felt like you can actually, hey, let me see your phone, I know it ain't shit in there. But I gotta act like I know it's shit in there. You know it's shit in the goddamn. You know it is. You know that she's always looking. She's always, she's a sneaky bitch. This isn't the first time you had to put hands on this bitch. She's not gonna leave. She's a leech. She's a prostitute where the money is. She, her body will be there. You know that so well that Y'all, you probably caught her talking to somebody. Maybe it was another billionaire at the place and you was trying to make sure that she didn't get his number, but you knew she got his number. You trying to keep this hoe from being a hoe. You, not, you can't keep a tiger from being a tiger. You can't take the stripes off of a zebra because then it will be a horse. And that's not what it is. People are what they are. Go get what you want. If you didn't want a hoe, then why the fuck did you go get a hoe? If you didn't want a woman with prostitute tendencies, why in the fuck did you get a bitch with prostitute tendencies? If you didn't want a bitch with prostitute tendencies, why in the fuck did you go get a prostitute? You see her social media. Her social media is asking men, come fuck me, come fuck me, while she's with you. If you want a housewife, go get a housewife. See, that? I think that, that's the biggest problem. Niggas be trying to get pears from apple trees. You want a bitch that know how to fuck good, but you also want a virgin. You want a bitch that got morals, but you also want a bitch that don't mind licking your ass. Which is weird as fuck, man. That nigga Adam22, uh, he said that shit on the show, and it just kind of... Like ass play, that, that's kind of I don't. I mean, I and I have to say, I, I mean because it's a lot of people, a lot of men that have openly raised their hand and say, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." So, you know, it, it just it just one of them things, man. You know, you, you, you say you want 
you know, you want a woman with goals, but you go to the projects. You know, you say you want a woman uh, that uh, that ain't that ain't uh, that ain't all about the money, and you go get a bitch out the strip club. So you know, it, it is what it is. But my nigga, by no means are you gonna beat the hoe up out of her. That's who, like that's 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 like you trying to beat the color off of her, which. Nowadays, you don't have to. You can actually do that shit. I was about to say that's a that's a, a, a fucking phrase, but it's real. You can actually change your color nowadays. So no, nah, so for any of y'all who are out there um, and you know that your bitch is like, stop living in that delusion. A lot of time we like to fucking you know when we talk to people, we'll we'll say some shit that we know just ain't true. Um, this is what you should do. This is what helped me when I was um, on the pills and shit like that. Instead of the next time someone asks you something about something that you want to change, tell them the truth. Instead of saying that, oh yeah, you know, you, yeah, we just, you know how it is, that, uh, you know, relationship. Say that I know she cheating, and I just don't know what to do. Say it. But that's. A reason why you would want to have good people around you that care about you so that they can but don't say it if you don't want it to change because if you just want to keep saying this shit a person is going to just stop fucking with you because uh, you said that she cheating on you you know she not for you she only here for the money and you want to leave I'm trying to help you get her to fuck out your life and now you trying to fight me acting like I'm doing something wrong alright my nigga handle that issue on your own enjoy your misery same thing for a woman same thing for a woman if you I know he cheating on me I know he only here for my money to drive my car he don't love me at all I want him out of my life. Your friend try to help you or some shit like that, and now you want to try to fight her. Like, girl, it ain't that serious. Is it? Let me let me handle my own. Like, whoa, bitch. You either hate living this life and you want change, or you don't, and it's that simple. It's that simple. So, um, as far as the legal ramifications, I won't get into that. I only, uh, I only serve, pause, uh, good people, good men, pause, um, that need help, um, from looking at your girl, looking at what you did, and looking at the type of bitch that you take on vacation, I have to say you a lame, DJ Drama. I have to say you a lame. Pains me to say it, but you are lame, my nigga. You are lame. Hope you get the help you need. It's the Big Facts Podcast. Make sure y'all hit that PayPal in the cash app. Make sure you go to the Patreon to catch the fourth installment of the How to Identify Nothing Ass Big Series. And if you feel like you will be a good member for the uh, How to Tell, How to Identify, uh, How to. Uh, how to tell that she's a dude video. Make sure you hit me up and we'll get it done. I'll see you on in a minute. Love, love.